Welcome back everyone to Learning with Teaching, we're in statics and today we're going to do problem 6.44, okay? It says, determine the force in, each, in members BE, EF, and CV and say it if the members are in tension or compression. Okay, so we got our cross member here, it's P at point A and it has a roller of ONG. Now, they want us to find the force in the members BE, so this guy over here, EF, so EF, and CV, so CV is this guy over here, okay? So, for this problem, I'm going to apply the method of uh, sections. So, what we need to do is that we're going to cut a section that is going to cut all these members. What do I mean by that? So, we're going to cut like this, and I'm going to name this section AA. Now, after I've cut my truss, i got to decide either if I'm going to work with this side of my truss or the side above it. Now, we need to know how many unknowns are in my bottom part and how many unknowns are in my top part. And the part that has less unknown is the part that we're going to pick. So if we take a look at the bottom, we have this right, this uh, the reaction force at the A and reaction force at G. Therefore, we got a total of three unknowns. Well, if we look on the top, we don't got any reaction forces, therefore we don't have any unknowns. Therefore, we know the answer. The answer is going to be that we're going to work with the top part. So, we're gonna start by doing the free body diagram of our section AA. Okay, now, how does that look? It looks something similar like this. And we need to apply our forces. So at point C, we got this 10 kilonewtons board. So I'm gonna put it here, 10 kilonewtons. I'm at point D, I got this five kilonewtons force. There we go. Then we got this five kilonewtons here at the corner. And since we cut this, we need to replace the this truss with the force in each member so in this case this will be this cut in here therefore it will be my cut cv so it will get my force cv going down i also have this force that we're going to call be so force be okay and lastly this force going down that is going to be ef so force ef okay so let me write this one a little bit more down so we don't get confused with this one so this will be my force um this was my be okay now these are my point this is my point c this is my point d my point e okay after we turn our free body diagram what we can do is that we're going to do some material forces now, if I do my summatory forces in the x direction, what do I have? I am assuming that going to the right is positive, okay? So we have 10 kilonewtons going to my right, so 10 kilonewtons, plus 5 kilonewtons. What else do we have? And then we have the x component of this force FBE. Now, how much is that F? Our uh, x component of FBE, we need to know the angle theta. So, how do we find that angle theta? So, I'm going to do a little work here on the side. So, theta equals to what? So, if we take a look, we got an opposite of 4 meters and an adjacent of 4 meters. Therefore, if we do my inverse tangent, and opposite of 4 meters divided by 4 meters of my adjacent, this will give me an equal of 45 degrees. The way that I like to think of this is that if my opposite and my adjacent are equal, I will know that my angle theta is always going to be 45 degrees, okay? So we're going to have negative because it's going to my left, FBE multiplied by the cosine of theta, and all this should be equal to zero. We got nothing else in the x direction. If we solve for FBE, 
what do we find? Okay, so we're gonna pass FBE to the other side and then put my cosine to divide on this side. So we're gonna have 15 kilonewtons divided by my cosine of theta. Why 15? 10 plus 5, 15 divided by the cosine of theta. And we're gonna plug this into our calculator. And this should be equal to 15 divided by my cosine of 45 degrees and will give me 21.2 kilo newtons. There we go. So we found our first one. The second one that I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply the summatory of moments with respect to my point B. So at point B in here. Why do I want to do that? Because it will cancel FCB and FBE, this equation, because there is no distance between my point B and these two forces. And I will be able to solve for, solve for my force FEF. Okay, so if I do summatory of forces, I'm um, sorry, moment around my point B, and then I'm assuming that counterclockwise is positive, what do we have? Well, these two forces are cancelled out, as we said, so let's just start with this 10 kilonewtons. So if I point like this and then I apply a pressure like this, it will go clockwise. Therefore, it's going to be negative, and then the force, which is 10, multiply by the distance. What's the distance of point B at this 10 kilonewtons? Well, it's this 4 meters, so we're going to multiply by 4 meters. Then these 5 kilonewtons are in the same direction, so we're going to get negative, and the force is 5 kilonewtons. The distance is going to be 4 plus 4, that will give me 8. Okay, I got these 5 kilonewtons going down, so if I were to have my truss like this, and then I want to push it like this, it will try to go same again, clockwise, so negative. And then we have 5 kilonewtons multiplied by the distance. What's the distance between point B and this force? Well, it's this guy over here, which is 4 meters. So we got four meters. Last, this guy, which is the unknown. This guy is the same direction of five kilonewtons, so we're gonna, it's going to give me also a negative moment. So F, E, F, multiplied by same distance, four meters. So we got four meters. And all this equation should be equal to zero, okay? If I pass this guy to the other side, it will become positive. Therefore, we're going to have that 4 times F E F is going to be equal to the addition of all of these negative numbers. So we're going to get, what do we have? If we multiply them really quick, let's see, 10 times 4, don't give me 40, so we got negative 40, minus 5 times 8, that's also 40, minus 5 times 4, don't give me 20, and... All of this it's equal to, so 40 and 40 that's 80, plus 20 that's a negative 100. Okay, now let's keep on solving for FEF. This will be equal to negative 25 kilonewtons. All we need to do is divide this negative 100 by this 4 that we have in here, okay? Now that we know this, we're going to apply the summatory of forces in the y direction, and what do I have? Well, let's start with the number. So we got, I'm also assuming that going up is positive, so therefore we're gonna have negative 5 kilonewtons because it's going down. Then I'll get negative FEF, so negative FEF. Then I'll have negative FCV, and then I'll have negative D y component of FBE, so FBE multiplied by my sine theta, and all this should be equal to zero, okay? So we know FBE, so FBE is, is the given, it's already done, and FEF, so we know FEF. We need to solve for FCV, so if we solve for FCV, if we pass it to the other side, this guy is positive and the rest is staying negative. It's going to be equal to negative 5 kilonewtons minus FEF, but FEF is negative. And we're we're going to have negative 25 inside of a parenthesis. Then we're going to have negative 
FBE, which is 21.2, multiplied by the sine of 45 degrees. Okay? If we plug in this into our calculator, so we got negative 5 minus minus 25 minus 21.2 times sine of 45. This will give me approximately equal to 5 kilonewtons. Okay? Positive 5 kilonewtons. How do we know if these member forces are in tension or compression? So the way that I solve for that I draw these forces, I draw them all in tension. In tension because they're going away from the truss. So if my answer is positive, such as FBE, that give me 21.2, is positive, therefore the answer is in tension. In the case of FEF, it gave me a negative 25, therefore my answer is in compression. So if we write our final answer, for example, will be FBE will be equal to what? 21.2 kilonewtons in tension because I got my positive answer. FEF. So FEF, we got it to be equal to 25 kilonewtons. And we got a negative. Therefore, it's in going to be in compression. Last, FCV. It's going to be equal to positive 5 kilonewtons. So if I get positive, my answer is in tension. That was all for this video, guys. Please push the button of like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.